All right, guys, it is here. It is finally here. All we've been waiting for is the trailer itself. I am definitely looking forward for this, y'all. I'm really definitely looking forward to for this. Guys, oh my god, dude. Um, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward. Transform that screen. Here it goes, guys. First look at zombies. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Trailer, here we go. What have you done? Did you get the package? Weaver. Watch it. Watch the tape. Weaver. Yep, Weaver. What the hell is that? A machine. It's happening again. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. Roger. Moving. Get the power on. No way. What was that? Sometimes I feel I've got to <laughs> run away. I've got to get away. Strike team, report. What the hell just happened? Oh my, my god! Really Let's go! Oh, that looks so awesome. My God! Let's go! Is that the thunder gun? Oh! Hello? Keep pushing. Take on. All new level, boys. We can't hold them off any longer. Help is on the way. No way. So many journeys, so many chapters. With Black Ops Cold War, we're starting fresh, embarking on a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story led by different characters. We've got new ways to play, mm -hmm. anchored by new ways of progressing. Okay. We've got a different time period. Cold War Zombies wasn't just our opportunity to open up a different chapter. It was our opportunity to elevate the entire Zombies experience. It's a chapter we call the machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay homage to zombies right, undead to All celebrate right. our origin Ooh. with one of our most familiar and signature locations, Nacht der Untoten. Yes! Called we finished it. a story, but we're still in that same universe, and this is the next oh. chapter. The, the very end of Black Ops 4, our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. And they were half right. Okay, we saw this one, yep. This is a Cold War story, and it will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver. Yes, a Russian Weaver! Russian-American who will be familiar to Black Ops fans. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, the machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, you'll see a boarded up bunker. Mm -hmm. But below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades old secrets primed to upset the global order. The players will find themselves at odds with a team of Soviet led rivals known as Omega Group, who are just as interested in studying and harnessing the power of the unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe. 
Beyond these two warring groups, they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas who operate in the field, delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel you receive and recover is a huge component of our storytelling in Cold War. And for the first time, an innovative new intel system will make content accessible on demand anytime. There's a lot to uncover that no one's ever seen before. Ooh, I'm looking forward for this, y'all. I'm looking forward for this. Let's get into the gameplay. That starts with delivering all your favorite elements. Relentless round-based action, the pack-a-punch machine, power-up drops, the mystery box, Love along it. with the return of some of our classic Yes, Pete Cola! We've also taken a fresh eye to the core gameplay loop to let you drop in and have fun faster than ever. Oh, yeah. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be tonally quite fresh. You'll find our updates this year have focused on one thing above all, embracing what Ooh. makes zombies so much fun. Yes. That starts with progression. This year, we've unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That means wherever you play across multiplayer zombies, your global rank and weapons level stays connected. Okay. You'll be unlocking weapons and equipment, mm -hmm. score streaks that will be right. usable across score the entirety of the zombies. game. That's interesting. No more starting with a pistol. Bring in your AR, your SMG, whatever you're feeling. And with all weapons boasting rarity with power levels, you can continue to increase your gun's those, damage those potential like awesome. however you choose. Every gun has a path to become an uber weapon. Uber You'll weapon. have a lethal, tactical, and support slot. Not only can you craft, pick up, mm -hmm. or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun moments. Uh. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new x system solves this. Things get tense and the squad is in trouble. You have the option to x to a chopper and earn some rewards. But only if you can survive a few more rounds of zombie spawns dialed up to 11. This is shaping up to be our most epic oh. zombies experience ever. Monkey For the first time, post-launch content is going to be free. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along for the journey as we take them through this storyline. Lastly, canon is canon. And we've put a story to rest, but as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if some things don't want to stay dead. Uh, they automatically headshots them? This is the most connected and robust zombies experience in history. It also delivers a first for zombies, a fully cross-play experience with progression systems that tie zombies to the battle pass. We're dropping free post-launch zombies content to the community for the first time Yay! as well. We're honored Yay! to have you with us on this journey. Oh shit. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. Let's go, let's go. So you can do your own character. Uh, character. Oh my God, guys. Y'all, y'all, this is amazing. Okay, so if you're a big, huge zombie fan, are you up for this? Are you up for this challenge? And y'all, really, you guys seen Frank Woods, you guys seen everything. This is fucking crazy, guys. Like, when you look into this, like, when you look into the trailer of itself, it looks really cool. This character, uh, I don't know if they reveal her name or not, but it is a girl. And, um, it, that's awesome. Like, in a different zombie experience, this is actually one of the, um, parts that you find. I forgot what it was. Uh, but this is the tape that we did see. That's Weaver, obviously, from Black Ops 1, if no one does not know. Um, he's, uh, from the campaign. Um, this part, we did see, not this part, but we did see that other connection part, which all of us was completely freaking out. And I was like, yes, zombies. Now, we thought the trailer would be coming out during October, but apparently it came out this year, and it looks so badass, y'all. Um, it, it's a next level of zombie. So you do not have the permis. You don't have Rick Toff and you don't have all the old characters back. That's disappointing, but you have the old perks back, uh, percolic, uh, not percolic, but you have, um, quick revive and we did see quick revive. We did see, uh, we did see, uh, speed cola, all that jazz. And there's probably some more out there. And this is the next level of zombies, y'all. And I'm really excited. This is the first official map. As they said, if you do, the DLCs is going to be free. So you don't have to pay it for like $8. I think it was $8 to pay for the DLCs uh, off of like Black Ops 1. Uh, not Black Ops 1. I don't know how much it was for Black Ops 1. But I know for the DLC wise, I bought my DLCs. Uh, I usually buy the season pass for the DLCs and all that. But there are going to be upcoming DLCs 
these zombies look very interesting. I think that was Black Widow. Not Black Widow. I think that was Widow's Wine. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me look back. So you got RPG here. Got a whole bunch of zombies, you know, uh, train your zombies. Uh, they look all yellow. They're not like blue zombies where you see blue zombies or red zombies with the red eyes or something like that. I know there was like a couple of red zombies, but that looks cool. Uh, score streaks is gonna be very interesting in this like zombies kind of thing. You got a multiple thing. This one I think it is or is that that's dead shot. This is dead shot. Um, I thought it was Widow's uh wine for a second, but uh, as you guys can see, obviously these are custom characters where you get off of multiplayer. I think um they're not actual like uh story characters that you play as. Obviously we saw um that girl and we also saw what is his name um. Uh, weaver in there too uh we do this is the thunder gun if i am if i'm correct this is the thunder gun um my zombie uh knowledge is not really that great but uh we do have these interest in hellhounds i'm guessing these are like acid hellhounds or something like that i don't know what their name is honestly but if they they look like acid hellhounds and they look like hellhounds so bring back the old perks bring back hellhounds bring back a uh, new um zombies that are like different like acid zombies i thought yeah i think i saw an acid zombie this guy looks very interesting there's obviously gonna be boss battles there's obviously gonna be easter eggs uh in this as well uh but the store streaks is gonna be very interesting in the zombies it's i feel like it's gonna be a little bit o op out there especially if you're like in crowd of zombies and you have like a score streak and you know all that stuff i think they did say that you can you can unlock your weapons like they do in regular kind of zombies so like you level up more and you unlock more weapons this um actually hold up put up put up if i can be correct i don't know if they have tombstone i think with that one area uh i think because they're bringing it back this is the pack a punch this is the pack a punch as you guys can see this is definitely the pack a punch as you guys can see uh this i don't know I don't know if this is some kind of perk or something. I'm guessing it would be Tombstone. I, I don't honestly don't know that much. This is an interesting one. Uh, you got the cans. As you guys can see, you don't get the actual, like, bottles. You get, like, the cans of it, which is pretty cool. Like, gets it old-fashioned. It's not, like, those bubblegum machines or anything like that. You don't see any bubblegum machines because that was, like, back in Black Ops 3. A lot of us out there want, like, the OG stuff. So, they bring back OG perks. They bring back, um... A lot of stuff um it's it's the next level zombies guys and it, it's, it's awesome it's truly awesome uh we obviously have the og ray gun this is the ray gun indeed ladies and gentlemen um this is a i guess that's a boss kind of zombie uh yeah yeah yeah. so it's like a a gas zombie like electron zombie it, it looks really awesome but um but it looks really cool. Um, also, through the gameplay, we did see that your that your gun, you probably start off with the pistol first. And the more you level up, the more uh, advanced it gets. Um, I think World War II did this, where you level up a lot faster. So, in the first thing, you gotta find the, you gotta find the power. Obviously, when you start off, you have to find the power. What's pretty cool about this is I realized that on your gun, you actually have a flashlight on your gun. Which is awesome, especially around if you're going in the dark and all that. That's awesome. That's truly awesome. I'm glad they add that in there. That's pretty cool. So, obviously, this is probably the first beginning where it's, like, super dark. You have your flashlight. And imagine this shit being VR. Like, you're actually in, like, a actual zombie apocalypse. Which, I love zombies dearly. I love zombies better than any, like, multiplayer. And, obviously, I could see this is probably the multiplayer characters where you play... Um, I'm sure a lot of you play the alpha. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be playing the beta coming up very soon. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the zombies. And it looks really cool. The zombies look legit. Look at this. That looks fucking awesome. The gore, is it's going to be crazy good. And, yeah. So, we got we got Speed Cola. This one's Speed Cola. Look at the classic. That's so cool. They got the cans of it. Oh, my God. It's not like one of those, like, bars i guess you could play multiple characters or like i i i think in i think in the campaign you create your own character that's what i heard that's really what i heard but we're more likely focusing on zombies right now guys it looks so fucking good y'all it looks so fucking good um there's the quick revive the classic quick revive right there um 
this is this is this is amazing guys uh outside now the original one off of this i think it is uh the first black ops i played it i played it on the um chronicles map i played it on the chronicles this is the actual map of it and what's cool about this you can go outside of it in the original one you have to go inside of it and survive inside this is cool because you get the experience on the outside of this. And obviously, it's not like... It's different. It's way different. You got graffiti all over the place because they show that during, like, teasers. And it's awesome. It's truly awesome. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of zombies. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on this, man. I, I'm excited for this. If you guys are hyped for this. If you guys are big uh, zombie fr fans out there. I'm going to try my best to do an Easter egg. Possibility. I mean, I'm, a, I'm terrible at Easter eggs. But, um... Most likely looking forward uh, for this, guys. I'm definitely looking forward for this. Uh, I feel like this might be the intro where you try to log log into it. And I, I don't know how it goes. But they did show a bit of the gameplay to it. It looks really awesome. Definitely looking forward for this, y'all. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. Because I don't want my friends to wait too long. Because we're in a war. Well, not war zone match multiplayer match uh but hopefully you guys enjoy us if you guys did leave a like subscribe new let me know your guys thoughts on zombies do you think it's gonna be better than the previous zombies again zombies is next level you got score streaks you got old perks old perks you got uh flashlights on your gun all that fun jazz uh you got the og uh map back but it's completely different you can go inside it outside of you, you know all that stuff you go crazy and um I'm definitely looking forward for this. Uh, I'm sure there's probably special weapons. Like, hold up, hold up. Let me go back. Let me go back for a second. This is what I did see is, I did see this. Here you go. I see, I did see this, guys. Hold up, hold up. I did, did see this uh, where you run into the zombies. This thing. I'm guessing this might be a special weapon. I'm guessing, like, I'm going all the way through Black Ops. Um, I think it was Black Ops 4. No, Black Ops 3 where you have special weapons to use against zombies um i'm guessing this is definitely probably a special weapon or it might be a tactical um thing that you use for defense i guess but this is pretty interesting i don't know well, let me know your guys' thoughts on this do you guys think this might be a special weapon possibility because obviously the score streaks are new for zombies obviously zombies is next level because you got the old g the og perks back um and you get to play as these different characters, not the storyline characters, which makes it very interesting. Um, again, I don't know my zombie knowledge that great, but I'm a huge, big, huge fan of zombies. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys did enjoy us, leave a like, subscribe. If you guys are new, let me know in the thoughts what you guys think of Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, Call of Duty Zombies uh, Cold War. I'm really looking forward for this and obviously look through it in the channel, through the campaign. I'm definitely looking forward for the campaign through the zombies and possibly the multiplayer as well um uh, but this is i'm definitely looking forward to guys uh let me know your guys thoughts peace out keep giving as always and you all have a wonderful night a wonderful day night or whatever uh stay safe out there if you guys haven't already stay safe and uh let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below if you are excited for some zombies this coming up on cod and the final date of it is november 13th so there's a lot of things coming up y'all november 13th make sure you put that on your couch this huge big fan of zombies can't wait to do the easter egg and all that stuff uh survive and all that stuff um there's one thing i didn't realize um i don't know if, i don't know if this is crossplay i know it's cross gen gender so if you have an xbox uh and you want to get the new xbox you can get it off that same thing with playstation you have a playstation 4 change it to a playstation 5 you buy on on like a cross gen then most likely that's what that is but uh definitely looking forward to this ladies and gentlemen uh thank you guys again for watching peace out keep giving as always and sorry for me for repeating myself but hope you guys enjoy this guys peace out and i will see you guys in the next one this is it why are the pentagon hudson couldn't tell me he didn't have clearance